in this video we're just going to prove that uh, root of 2 is uh, irrational so irrational means it is not rational so what we just need to understand is rational so when you say a number is rational what do you mean so you mean you're capable of expressing it in the form of a over b of course b should not be equal to zero because we don't want it to be undefined so it should be in the form of a over b and then a and b should be in their common ratio in their lowest ratio with an highest common factor over one an example is a two the number two can be expressed in the form of two over one where two and one are both integers and then the highest common factor is a one so what is a rational number so we prove this by contradiction because we can't prove directly so we'd have to make an assumption to say our number root of two is rational so we'll write that explicitly we'll assume root of 2 is what is rational that's the first thing we're doing so since you have, you've taken an assumption we can event statement can come now then we know we're able to express now root of 2 in the form of a over b okay so at this point you attribute to squaring both sides okay because we want to do our with a square root. So we square both sides. So you realize that at the next step, uh, this will go, the root will go, so you just have a 2 there. 2 is equal to a squared over b squared. Okay. So I, I can now move on. So we can cross and multiply. So if we cross and multiply, what are we going to have? So f two b squared is equal to a squared. And then we can divide both sides by 2. So b squared is going to be equal to a squared over 2. So we observe one thing. What are we observing? So we're observing that a squared is divisible by 2. So I can give you an example. If you have... 4 squared and then I tell you to say 4 squared is divisible by 2 then it means even the number itself is divisible by 2 4 itself is divisible by 2 so that expression we have shows that a squared is divisible okay is divisible by 2 so hence A is also divisible by what? Is divisible by two. So you can finish up that. So, so when a number is divisible by any number, so in this case two, you're able to express it in the form of the product of that number. So for example, if I know four is divisible by two, I'm able to express four in terms of a product of a two. I can say two k, where k is equal to two, which is exactly two times two. So the same assumption is going to work at this point. So we know that a squared is divisible by 2. Now we are interested in a being divisible. a is divisible by 2. So we'll go back to our statement where we had b squared. I'll write my b squared. So our b squared is equal to... Now a is divisible by 2. So we can write it in the form of 2k. So 2k. Now it is what? Squared here. So specifically a is divisible by 2 so we'll say let a be equal to 2k okay so we can even state that let a be equal to 2k since we know that a is divisible by 2 just like i demonstrated about 4 4 can be expressed in the form of 2 times 2 okay so where there is a squared we are going to put the 2k and that's exactly what we've done so over 2, so I can take away the over 2 by crossing and multiplying so that it goes the other side, so that we can have a 2 on the back, on, back on the b squared. So you can simplify there. You have 2 b squared is equal to 4, 4k squared. Okay. So we have 2 b squared is equal to 4k squared. So I can divide both sides by 2. So b squared becomes equal to 2k squared. 
Now we can express, we can divide both sides again by 2. So we realize that we're going to have b squared over 2 being equal to what? Being equal to k squared. So at this point, since b squared is over 2, we can say b squared is divisible by what? So I can just create some space now. So we can say b squared is divisible by what? By 2. Hence our b is also divisible by what? By the same 2. Okay, can finish that up. So, since, now remember that there's a point where we had said A was divisible by 2. So what does that tell us? So now we can see that both A and B are divisible by what? So we can say 2 divides both A and B. So which now tells us to say that P, our A and our B have a common factor. A common factor of what? Of 2. So now what does this do? So remember from our assumption it was very necessary for us to assume that 2 was rational. And then we said if it is rational, we are able to express it in the form of A over B. Where A and B have got no common factors other than 1. Okay? Now in this case, we can see that A and B have got a common factor of 2. So the way, the way you prove by contradiction is by proving that the numbers or your letters of your choice are going to have a common factor. So that common factor contradicts the assumption. So, since A and B have got a common factor of 2, it contradicts our assumption. So, since it contradicts our assumption, then it's not true. Then we can say that our root of 2 is 1. Our root of 2 is not irrational. Or we can just say is irrational. That's basically how you go about this. I took a bit of some time to help you understand the few steps that we get to consider whenever you are proving that the root of 2 is irrational.